Hey everyone, today I'm, I'm going to show you how to apply real AI thinking to a practical problem predicting laptop battery life using past data. So this problem is from HackerRank, but more importantly, it mirrors how we approach predictive modeling in real world AI systems. And we are here going to do it with just math and Python, no libraries, no shortcut. And yeah, of course, on the left hand side, there's like a small story, so which is really interesting. Go ahead and read that before you solve the challenge actually. Okay, here you go. Imagine you had access to someone's full battery charging history and every time they charged their laptop and how long it lasted. So that's Fred. Fred is predictable. He charges, watches TV shows and logs everything. So that is what they have told over here. And let me just show you a small example of this input. Okay, so check this out, a small example. If you just look over here, so this is the input format given on the hacker rank. So if I charge, I mean, if Fred charges laptop for 1.5 hours, the battery will last for three hours. So simultaneously just check these two examples. And Fred just wants to know if he charges for, let's say, 1.75 hours how long can he watch tv before the battery even dies sounds simple but this is exactly how ai models work we learn from data identify patterns and make predictions so here you go we are going to apply linear regression a foundational ai technique to find a mathematical relationship between charging time and battery life so the equation here is M multiplied by charge time plus C. Okay, so M is the slope, C is the base battery level. So by using this formula, we are going to solve that problem. Okay, and this, this is model training in its simplest form using past data to learn parameters. All right. Okay, so just check this out, the code. First, we need to read the training data and clean it. And here's a professional tip. We only use the part of the data that actually charges the battery. Okay, why? Because after 4.5 hours, Fred's battery flat lines at eight hours. Any more charging doesn't help. So just check this part, which I just explained. So this step is almost critical. Use this one, 8.0, as Fred battery flat lines at eight hours, okay? Do remember this. So in AI, bad data means bad predictions, okay? Okay, so today we are going to train this model manually, okay? So now let's calculate the slope and intercept like a real AI model would, but manually. Just check this one over here. So as I explained earlier, M and C, and based on this formula, we are just summing up each and everything, okay? These values form our trained AI model, and now it can make predictions on its own. Okay, so now we apply our model to any new input, just like a real AI systems do in production. So check this one over here that we have used. We also cap the output at eight because that's the physical limit. That's not just coding, that's domain knowledge in action, okay? So this example shows how AI isn't always about complex models. It's about understanding your data, defining your logic and building models that make sense. This is how I build custom AI logic for clients, clean, reliable, explainable, okay? So let me just show you the entire code over here one more time and we have computed the entire thing manually by using the formula so let's quickly go ahead and run this code and check whether it passes all the test cases all right so let me just run okay so sample test case just passed let us submit and check whether all the test cases passes And yeah, please ignore the background noise. 
as my dog is barking. Okay, so here you go. All the test cases just passed. Okay, so that means the code is working. Okay, so if you're a business looking to make sense of your data, automate insights, or add real AI into your product, this is what I do. And if you're a learner, hit subscribe for more real AI coding examples from simple models like this to advanced projects with GPD and agents. Comment below if you want the code or walkthrough for other AI logic problems. Thank you so much.